Hello everybody, how is your day going today? Well, it's mid-November and I just did a little vintage showing and that's all done. And I looked in my closet and I have a ton of linen which I've collected. Yes, I'm the collector of thrift items. Like I was explaining in the last video, um, our thrift stores here often have bag days and uh, with the hospice thrift, you could fill a great big huge bag of theirs, a reusable bag, for $4, and um, it's double the size of most bags. It's very large, so you could get a lot in there. So anyways, I've collected a whole bunch of stuff, and I should be sitting listing for hours every day, and I do to a degree, but not as much as I should. Anyway, I'm going to show you some linen. How do you like linen? Is it one of your favorites, too? What is your favorite fabric? Do you want to leave a note in the comments below? And while you're at it, would you like to subscribe to my videos, to my channel? And um, I hope that you like it, in which case I hope that you give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. So anywho, away we go. Everything here in this bag is either 100% linen or about 50, 55%. I prefer to get 100% because that to me is the real deal, but there are a lot of blends around now, so I picked some of them up too. Anyway, this is a shirt called Bonita. It had a belt actually, but I don't think a belt was with it. Whoopsie, I just noticed that, but that's all right. To me, it feels like 100% linen or close to it. So that's that, and uh, here's a very pr bright, kind of like a Kelly, emerald green, I guess you'd call it. I was going to say Kelly. Now, I'm pretty sure that's 100% linen. Yes, it is. It's 100% linen. Carly's Court, and it's got lightly padded shoulders, so that leads me to believe it could be vintage. Because most things don't come with padded shoulders now. It's like new condition. I guess this is one of the reasons I should have my eBay um, listings up and running because I have so much stuff and I guess linen probably would go over on eBay quite well. I know it sells um, here quite well and a lady that takes my goods for her consignment store, she likes linen too. So this is called Maloka and you know what? It was in the linen bag, but it's not linen. <laughs> but isn't it cute? I'm going to keep that out and I'll probably list it. This is part linen. I think it's a cute skirt. 43% the segment. 54% linen. Got this just the other day at one of the thrift stores. And it's really ducky with that beautiful little hemline of cut out flowers. Size 8. Mac and Jack. And I think this is a men's shirt. Cuba Vera, and it's an XL. Well, you know what? No, I think it's a woman's. Yeah, that's got to be a lady. The buttons are on the right. It says XL, but it doesn't look like a men's XL. I never remember. Are the man's buttons on the right or are the ladies' buttons on the right? 55% linen, whether it's for a man or a lady. Now, in with my linen, I also put my silk because... It just seems like a good place for it to go. <laughs> Linen and silk together. Santini, 100% pure silk, and it's size eight, and in that beautiful color. Gonna leave that out too. Something should be done with that immediately. Alrighty, this is back to the linen. Blue number nine, medium. And it's a tunic, very small looking tunic with a cowl neck. And what size is it and how much linen is in it? Oh, oh goodness. 
this. Okay, it's kind of like a fold over idea. And I don't see the amount of linen that's in it unless it's on the other side. No, but it's very linen-y. You could really tell. I've got lots of light colors here. I got this one the other day. Oh, I think I showed you this one in one of the hauls. It's size 16 and it's a linen. I don't know about that. Yeah, I showed you this one too, Dean and White, and it went in the linen bag. It got added because they're my most recent linen items. Here comes something really pretty. Oh la la. Cooley, 100% linen, and it's size 40, which would be, I think, a large a little dress. Little dress with the embroidered edge. Isn't that lovely? Wow. So pretty. And I love this color too. It's that sky blue. And it is Valerie Stevens. 100% linen. There we are. And it's a nice shirt, a long shirt with buttons on the sleeves. And it's got nice deep side slits with embroider around them. Gorgeous. Here's a kind of like a purpley blue, maybe a dark cornflower blue. Foxcroft, New York City. I think the fabric tag might be off. Foxcroft. It's a nice long sleeve shirt. Should be setting some of these aside for my lady at the new to you thrift, because she likes linen. Jag, 53% linen. Um, capris so they're out of season for sure this is only a linen look size 3x it's a beautiful Zach and Rachel 3x smock top and it made its way to the linen, but I don't think it is. It just looks like it. I think it's polyester. 65 polyester, 35 rayon, but it has that linen look to it. Mm. Here comes a beautiful color. Wow, just wow. It's a new vision, 100% linen. A lady shirt. Isn't that just beautiful? Like a deep... A deep tangerine, a vivid tangerine, I would say. Oh, this shouldn't be in that bag. What is this? Oh, more pants, I think. Or Relax. Tommy Bahama. Okay. Large. They're full length pants. I'd wear something like that in Mexico be really nice. Although I think uh, for Mexico or Hawaii, I think I do like cotton even better. Valerie Stevens, 100% linen made in Hong Kong. So I would say this was an expensive blouse.
that must have been a men's shirt that I was talking about a few items ago because the women's buttons are on the left. Okay, how do I remember that? I should know that by now, but I don't. I got this recently. It is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size 10, 100% linen. A beautiful hot pink. I don't know if that would sell in the winter time. Definitely should put some of these away, for, some of these things away for summer. I took everything out of my linen closet, all of my blankets and sheets and whatnot, and I got rid of as much as I could and just kept a few items that are way up on the top shelf. And um, all the other shelves are for my inventory. And I've got bags of woolen items, a bag of linen, bag of summer stuff bag of holiday items just, yeah thank goodness for that linen closet i am thankful this is 100 percent linen size 1x edward woman kind of wrinkly huh <laughs> when i go to list these unless i consign them if i take them to consignment then the consignment proprietor gets to do all the steaming but of course if I list these anywhere on Marketplace or Poshmark or eBay or Etsy or whatever definitely need to do a good steaming. Isn't that pretty with kind of like the eyelet? And that's my name. I'm Eyelet Dreams. I like that name. It came to me and then but then I thought of other names and I was going to try some other name, but then I kept on having a feel for Islet Dreams, so that's what I named myself. <laughs> I love Islet. And I'm kind of romantic in some ways, even though I'm really basic. Actually, it's great doing these videos because it makes me get myself fixed up a little bit. Normally, I just put my hair back, pin it back, and wear really basic, plain clothes. <laughs> Here's a little linen skirt, size 7, Reitman's. Do you have Reitman's where you live? Can you let me know? I don't know if it's a totally a Canadian chain or what. 55% linen, 45% cotton. Just a nice little skirt with a frill. Might as well show you my linen tablecloth. I got this some months ago and I just I love it so much I thought I don't really want to list it until I get onto eBay or get my eBay up and running. It's a beautiful, beautiful linen tablecloth and it has matching napkins that when I was raised we called them serviettes. <laughs> when I ask for serviettes when I go through um, a fast food place, which I go through A&W sometimes, I ask for serviettes, well they don't know what they are. And my mom said, oh they call them napkins Charlene. Oh, okay. <laughs> We called them serviettes when I was growing up. Even though I was raised in a little old cove on an island, and we weren't hillbillies, but we were, you know, country folk, more or less, fishing families. And, um, yeah, we still called them serviettes. That was just the name. Yeah, this is very, very pretty. It's just huge, too. Look at how big it is. I mean, it's very big, and it has several matching serviettes, a.k.a. napkins. Okay, I've got more stuff here. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, this is another tablecloth. Excuse me, please. That's my chicken soup, homemade chicken soup repeating on me. Um, do you use tablecloths? I used to, but I don't now. I just don't. Um... I love them though. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. It's really big. Here's linen with a print on it. What is it? I think it's pants. Willie Smith, 100% linen, size 8. Have you heard of Willie Smith? I didn't look up the comps on this at all, but 
Anyway, they're really cute little pants. Adorable. Look at that, yeah. Nice. This still has the little tag in it, the little blue tag right there. Size 12, very nice linen skirt. Oh, a dress, oh gap. Size 12. Cute little, like a drindle type dress. Kind of, sort of, maybe not exactly. And does this have pockets? Yes, it has pockets. Look at that. It's got pockets. We all love pockets, don't we? To throw our keys in or whatever we happen to have to put somewhere. Yeah, this is darling. I think it's lined. No, it's not lined, but it's a really, really um, substantial, crisp, rather crisp linen. Not too crisp, though. Really nice. I think the blazer was by this. Um, it's a new vision, medium. And it's that beautiful tangerine color. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Well, I've got some nice linen things. I didn't realize that I had that many. Here's the serviette. Black linen, these will be shorts. I got these at the Transition Thrift. It's a thrift that has a $2 Saturday, and I go there every Saturday. I have not missed a Saturday um, for months, all summer long. That's another way that I got lots of inventory in. It's hard to believe that after COVID, or it's hard to believe that when we were on lockdown, that I got close to using up most of my inventory that I had, at least in the house. I still had some in the crawl space, but... Um, yeah. And then I discovered the $2 Saturday and look out. <laughs> Man, I bought a lot there, but really nice things. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, I know why it's in there. Wilfred with silk and cashmere. It's a cardigan, a beautiful cardigan. I'm probably going to going to keep that out and I will I think I'll list it on Poshmark. Last weekend I sold three things on Poshmark. That was amazing. It's three things on the Sunday, I do believe it was. Okay, that's it except for I've got a silk blouse here. 55% silk and the rest is cotton. And it's a really pretty plum. Beautiful plum color. So that is it. That's it for my bag of linen goods and a few th uh, silk things. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed it, please press the like button and please feel very welcome to subscribe. <coughs> Got a little catch there. Thank you so much for coming by, and I hope that you'll come again. Have a good day, have a good night, and stay safe, and take care, and happy reselling. Thank you so much. Bye for now.